Uh, we've been hearing about this potential visit. There's finally some confirmation. What are we expecting? Well, now we have a date, obviously, from 6th to the 9th, so later this week and perhaps over the weekend. So we'll have all the news and wrap on Monday to get the perspective on Janet Yellen. It's important because this is the second major uh, secretary from the Biden administration. We had Anthony Blinken go three weeks ago uh, to Beijing, and now we have Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary. And no matter what they talk about, it is positive that the two sides are at least showing a willingness, uh, acceptance to sit down and have out their differences and boy are the differences mounting obviously and it was Janet Yellen who has been talking a lot about de-risking uh, from the China supply chain she's talked about friend shoring and moving some supply chain uh, you know resilience to other nations including uh, Japan in fact in April Janet Yellen had a quite w a sharply worded speech where she did again reaffirm that they are not trying to decouple uh, from China but did admit that the United States might have to accept some sort of economic costs uh, by sort of de-risking uh, from the China you know, supply chain. So again, this will be a critical meeting as well uh, because she's going to be meeting the new leadership team. Let's hear what Janet Yellen had to say ahead of her trip uh, in this uh, soundbite from MSNBC. We really welcome and want to um, have a healthy economic relationship and we think it's generally beneficial. Uh, we have disagreements. Um, my hope in traveling to China is to reestablish contact. There are a new group of leaders. We need to get to know one another.